Hey, a fun video today here at Blue Glow Electronics. Today we're going to talk about testing tennis ball tubes and uh, specifically today we're going to test a pair of 205D um, Western Electric tubes but this would apply to just about any tennis ball tube and how you're going to want to do that properly and the steps you're going to want to go through in doing so. Um, as you can see these uh, the little 205s here, these are the older etch space. These came out of that uh, Western Electric 32A amplifier that I had. Finally getting around to testing them. But um, if you'll notice, they are four pin uh, tube, and there's no difference in these four pins. Um, they're all the same size, uh, so unlike a modern tube, uh, like a 2A3 or 45, where two of the pins are larger, these are not like that. But what these do have is a little bay pin right here in a place, and that'll help us along the way in what we're trying to do. So if you'll notice here, this is the printout of a 205D vacuum tube. And if you scroll in on it a little bit, this is the important part, um, you'll notice that if you turn the tube, just like it's shown there with the little bay pin kind of sticking up here on the right hand side, um, that the bottom two pins down here, um, if you turn it like this with the bay pin kind of sticking up here on the side, these two bottom pins right here will be the actual filaments here. And we're going to want to test that. So uh, let me. Okay, we're just going to want to test that. So I've got a um, multimeter here just set on continuity. And with the bay pin turned just like it's shown here in the picture, kind of off to the upper right, these bottom two pins here should be the filaments. And if you'll notice as I connect on there, we have solid continuity. Um, there's no other two pins in the tube that would have continuity as you can see. Um, only the two filaments are actually connected. The others um, uh, DC wise are not. They actually uh, don't start until you heat the heat the tube up and uh, start uh, causing it to conduct um, and then AC can flow through the other plates but uh, the only two pins that will pass DC and um, you know, cause a continuity check to do that um, would be the two filaments. Okay, up next I've got a uh, TV7DU um, tube tester as you can see here. Uh, it's my old trusty tester and we're gonna we're gonna test this these tubes both today with this and we're gonna also gonna use the um, computer controlled um, Western Electric uh, Cardomatic. So um, what, what we're going to want to do, just to be 100% sure, is we've set the tester up using the book here. Um, they have a 205F um, and don't actually have the 205D, but I've done some research online and it says that the 205F settings are uh, perfectly fine for testing the 205D. And it'll tell me to set it on 5 volt filament, which I've done, um, and then ER3000, so ER3000. 32000 and then it says to put it on range B bias on 34 um, no shun at that point in time so do a little line test here I've got the uh, got the line set in the very middle like it should be and at this point what we're going to do is um, actually turn on another multimeter here and we're going to put it on volts AC as you can see right there and what we're going to do is we're going to test these two large pins on this tube socket right here and if you'll notice here at this point we've got about 5.5 volts um, so I might want to turn that down just a hair here um, on the line test but that's about what it should be uh, in the 5 volt range so now I know for sure that these two back pins right here which are the large ones and if you'll notice I've, I've done this before uh, I've got two little ticks on my uh, actual tester here that I used a black magic marker to actually uh, put on there so that I know that though that is the filaments um, you can see them there better on the four pin those are always the filament those back to okay now we've established which two pins on the tube tester are the filaments and we've established which two pins on the socket uh, on the tube itself are the filaments the problem you run into is that these pins are not exactly um, designed to go into this socket. Um, one of them is a UX, UV4 and the other is a UX4. And if you uh, go look online on eBay, uh, there's somebody that actually sells a UV4 converter to UX4 converter. Um, so the top being here, this being UV4 
and then uh, UX4, what we're going into here. So at this point now, I know which two pins right here are the filaments. Um, and I know those are the large pins because that's uh, on the tube socket over there. It's the two large pins. So I can then uh, insert this tube down in here as such. And just because I want to be 100% sure when I plug this thing in, um, let me find my handy dandy magic marker here. But I'm going to want to come along on, on this little thing here put two little marks on the back side right here as you can see um, I've got a mark there and a mark there so now at this point I should be able to come over here and actually plug this thing in um, with that one that one the two big pins should be the only two that go in and we should be able to plug this down in here just like so and if you'll notice um, let me get the, the angle right here but Take a look inside of this tube right here. We actually have a nice orange glow going on. You can see it in there. The filaments are lit up on this uh, tube at this point in time. All right, so it's nice and warmed up. I let it warm up for about 20 or 30 seconds here. I'll do one more push here of the line test, still in the middle. And at this point, I'm going to hit the three button, uh, which is the continuity. And if we'll notice, this goes over to about 62, four, five about 65 and a minimum is 37 so this that tube is testing great pretty much like a a brand new tube at this point okay so I'll make a little label for this I had these printed up a while back uh, got a few thousand of them printed up and you can you custom make the stickers you want these actually say Blue Glow Electronics our website and then uh, GM1 GM2 in case you got a uh, tri you know a, a dual triode but I wrote down 65 over 37 and 717. We're going to put that label on the tube. And as you can see here now, I've labeled the tube. The beauty of these, these are uh, some type of plastic labels. They pull right off, don't leave any residue, and, uh, and don't, don't tear apart like a paper label would do. They're designed to be removable. So I'm going to put that one up now. Okay, we've now inserted the other tube in there. And... Um, it is warming up at this point in time. We can check the uh, line test again. Just a slight hair low on that one. Turn it up just a bit. And let's see what we get out of that. Exact same reading, 65. So both of these are pretty much brand new tubes, which I'm extremely happy about. Okay, we've got them tested. The beauty of this is that uh, they are a beautifully matched pair both at 65 37 um, and they both test brand new um, that's significant the fact that these test identical I mean it could be a major difference if I ever wanted to sell this pair and just the fact that you've got a matched pair of these things let's uh let's go test them on the other tube tester okay we're gonna try testing this on the uh, trusty old Western Electric aka Hickok um, Automatic, but this is the computer controlled version and you just set the computer on 205F which I've done here a little bit hard to see and I've hit the T for test button and over here the filaments are glowing bright at this point as you can see this thing goes over about the same spot right there about 65 on that and if you hit the gas button there's no gas uh, no leaks so this thing's uh, testing out just fine I can hit the escape button on this now and it'll kind of turn off the uh, test and uh, turn off the feed to the filaments at that point but I'm happy with how that turns out uh, at least you see how to do that um, one thing I did do ahead of time I didn't show you was uh, hit the T button here on this thing for test and I came over here and I double checked these two large pins just to make a hundred percent sure as you can see I got 5.8 volts of AC and then I used a little bit of magic marker and I came over here and I marked two little spots on my uh, on my pins right here so I know exactly where the filaments are on this thing so there was no no doubt when I put it put it in there the right thing it on any tennis ball tube you're testing it is worth getting the print out uh, laying the tube out testing the filaments on the tube and then uh, checking for filament voltage on your tester to make sure you're lining up properly that way you can't get it wrong and end up uh, frying your uh, frying your tube in, in some way shape or form Thanks for watching everybody. If you've got any questions, post them below. We'll be glad to answer them and uh, stay tuned. We uh, 
Got more coming.